Today, I want to tell you about a sermon with three points. I'm going to read to you from Acts chapter 24, verse 25, which says, Now as he, and that means the Apostle Paul, Now as he reasoned about righteousness, self-control, and the judgment to come, Felix was afraid and answered, Go away for now. When I have a convenient time, I will call for you. Antonius Felix began his life as a slave. His brother Pallas was a friend of the Emperor Claudius. Through such influence, he rose in status, first as a child gaining freedom. Then through political skill and intrigue, he became the first former slave to ever become the governor of a Roman province. According to some, his slave mentality stayed with him. Tacitus, the Roman historian, described Felix as a master of cruelty and lust who exercised the powers of a king with the spirit of a slave. Felix gained his third wife, her name was Drusilla, by seducing her away from her husband. In Acts chapter 24, Paul stood before Governor Felix. Most everyone else would see this as a trial for their life, but Paul saw it as an opportunity to explain and to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. When Paul preached to this high and mighty man, he had a three-point sermon. Acts chapter 24, verse 25 says that he reasoned about righteousness, self-control, and the judgment to come. These were the three points Paul used when he spoke to Felix and Drusilla. These are three points that many modern preachers would avoid speaking about especially if they were speaking to a prestigious man like Felix. Now, we don't know exactly how Paul developed these three points, but we can speculate on something like this. He told Felix about the righteousness that is ours in Jesus Christ, at least can be for believers. Paul spoke to Felix about the need for Christian ethics, that is self-control, something that was evidently lacking in the life of of both Felix and his wife, Drusilla. Paul explained to Felix about eternal accountability before God, that is, the judgment to come. Now, we admire Paul's bold preaching directed right to the issues of Felix's life. Preachers today should show the same boldness, willing to proclaim God's truth even when it might confront or offend those who hear. And did you notice the response of Felix? We read, Felix was afraid. Hearing the message made Felix afraid. Knowing something about his life, at least we can say that he probably understood what Paul was saying to him. The gospel should make those who are intent on rejecting Jesus afraid. Acts chapter 24, verse 25 ends on a sad note. Paul faithfully preached and Felix was afraid perhaps in a good sense. The tragedy was that Felix heard what Paul said and the Roman governor was impressed by the message of the gospel. He knew that he had to get his life right with Jesus Christ, yet he avoided doing anything. And he excused it by telling Paul that he must wait for a convenient time. This excuse of Felix is repeated in the lives of thousands upon thousands of people. When you hear God's message of righteousness, self-control, and the judgment to come, respond with continuing repentance and faith. There'll never be a more convenient time than today.